good day to all of you. How have all of you been doing in the last one week? Today, my topic is on integrity crisis. You see, post 2018, and especially after the Sheraton move in the year 2020, our country, Malaysia, has been suffering from a crisis of integrity. People just don't know who to trust anymore. You know, trust for government, it's at an all-time low and the rakyat or the citizens have just stopped trusting their leaders to work for the people's interests. So, indeed, it is rare to find a leader of integrity these days. Someone who will be willing to do what they say or say what they do and someone who is upright, honest and an example for all to follow. Granville Kleiser said, you are already a consequence in the world if you are known as a man of strict integrity. So, even more so today, having integrity is one key ticket to leadership and promotion in life. So ironically, men with integrity never display their quality until when? Until, you know, when their chances of promotion and success are threatened, you know. And um, Dwight uh, David Eisenhower, uh, I think the 34th President of uh, the United States of America, says that the supreme quality for leadership is unquestionably what? Integrity. Without it, no real success is possible. No matter whether it is on a section, a gang, or a football field, or in the army, or in any office. So, the supreme quality for leadership is integrity. Integrity may not make you a popular leader. Yeah. But it does make you a credible lead, leader that has what? Influence. Because you have a track record of integrity, people may not like you. I repeat this. People may not like you, but they will trust and they will respect you and your strength. Now, let us go a little deeper into this. So what is integrity in leadership? When we say um, that an object has integrity, we mean that the object has the state of being whole and undivided. It is what it is meant to be. So by extension for us, integrity is what we do, what we say, or what we say we do. So as a person of integrity, your word is your bond. Your yes is a yes. Your no is a no. So your word is as good as gold. So the moment it leaves your mouth, you allow yourself to be bound, okay, by your words. So, a true person of integrity stands by his word and pays the high cost of fulfilling those words. You know, and that's why this person can be trusted. For example, you promise your family that you'll be there for the, you know, let's say Chinese reunion dinner. But the very last minute, your boss call in and tell you that he wants you to get certain things done because this project, you know, ha have to be submitted by the day after. And suddenly the cost of fulfilling your word to your family goes up. You think about the consequences of rejecting your boss so that you can be with your family. Now, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? All right, you will, think, you will think that would it jeopardize your chances of a promotion? Would he view you unfavorably? And this is what I call the price of integrity. Sometimes the cost of fulfilling the word goes up, but the person of integrity will stick by it, no matter how painful it may become. So, the advantage of being branded as a person of integrity is that once you have established that, um, you know, reputation, people will be happy to deal with you. 
um, businesses, you know, they will pay a premium to partner you. Investors will want to put their money in you, you know, all because you are a person or a leader that can be trusted. It almost takes a lifetime to build a reputation of integrity in leadership. But if you have that, it is truly one of the pinnacles of your achievement in life. You may not get a reward on stage for it, but you will be rewarded with true friends, business partners, colleagues, and people that you can trust. Okay? People who trust you and can be trusted. So, this is a short little uh, video here, but uh, I hope you know that you will continue with your journey as a leader of integrity, not only in words, but also in deeds. And I am Philip Leong and I do what I do for the very fact that leadership matters because people matter. If you like my videos and you want more of such content, all right, do hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. So as the COVID cases are breaking the record, you know, on a daily basis, please stay safe, stay healthy and continue to be a blessing to those around you. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.